to uh, the next section on this uh, VB ECR training for SWIX. Um, been a couple of weeks, so uh, let's get on with it. When we left you, you, we got to this stage and we were able to read the night service status, whether it was on or off, from the database. And today we're going to look at how we change the value of the night service flag inside that database. So let's uh, just quickly grab the code we've got to date. Okay, and go into Notepad++. And let's switch the language to VB. Okay, so this is where we got to. I've only added a couple of changes to this code. Down at the bottom here, uh, these four lines, it's just good housekeeping. So once we've got the value from the database, I then close the record set with this line, and I also null the value of the record set out to nothing, and then I close the connection to the database, and again, I set the connection to nothing. Uh, so that's just a bit of uh, housekeeping. Still no error checking in this code, apart from the standard error checking that we get with Swix, which uh, effectively just drops the call in the event of a scripting error. We will be covering proper error checking in a later lesson. So we now need to write a new function, and we're going to call this new function um, set night. So, function set night. And we're also going to introduce um, parameters into this. So I need to change the value of the night service flag inside the database from a 0 to a 1 or vice versa. And to do that, I'm going to pass that 0 or 1 setting into the function, which makes my code, when I come to the ECR, uh, a lot neater and more succinct. So I'm going to pass a value in and that value I'm going to put in the parameters and it's a number I'm going to pass in and it's night. The night service value. So that's my function and function. So I just need to build it. Now the first part of the function uh, for setting data in the database, it's going to be exactly the same as reading data from the database. So I'm going to need all this section here. I'm going to use the same connection string because it's obviously the same database. Um, I'm going to scroll all the way down to here and stop at this point. So copy that lot into my new function. So just recapping, we set some variables here and there's the connection string and then we open the database and we connect to the first record. Now at this point, I don't want to read the value, I want to set the value. And it really is uh, incredibly easy. Uh, the database field I'm going to change is called night on. So if I go RS, and if you refer back to the database we created earlier, you'll see that there was a field called night on. So record set night on equals the value I pass into the function, which is n night. Uh, now I just need to update it, and that's what I type. I type rs dot update, and s return equals one. So I'm going to actually return a value from this function one, and you'll see later on when I use this to confirm that the change has happened in the database. And end function, and that's it. Control A, Control C, go to our script, and into here, Control A, delete, Control V, 
So my function for setting the value my service is now in the start rule, and I just need to write some ECR blocks to do it. Uh, there are a couple of ways of doing this, and we'll discuss the various options you've got for accessing this. Um, but when I first started, the first time I did this, I came to the conclusion that probably the simplest way of doing this is this rule is going to run under the main number routing or any other any user's routing and normally it deals with external calls and there's no reason for someone to dial this script internally so the very first time I did this all I put in was a simple call filter at the start that said if this is an internal call then I'm going to go off and do something if it's an external call we're going to check the night service and to what we normally do. So if it's an internal call, I'm going to give them an IVR option to switch night service on or off. So get a single character, and record night service menu one. To switch the night service on, press 1. To switch the night service off, press 0. And that's that recorded. And I'm going to save the value in here. Night. There's a variable called night value. Oh, I need to switch off the links. I'm only interested in 1 or 0. 0 is off. One is on, and I'm not interested in any of the inputs. Of course, I'm not allowed to disable the timeout, so we'll leave that there. So if it's an internal call, they get a menu, night service on or night service off. I then call the function. If they press 0 or 1, and the function was called set night and the value I'm going to pass is whether they pressed a zero or a one. I don't need to put anything else. That's it. And then we'll go there just so you can hear the changes. So set the value is internal call and if they don't do anything well just hang up okay I think we're ready to test this now so I will save this so if I dial this script <coughs> To switch night service on, press 1. To switch night service off, press 0. Night service is now switched off. So that switched it off by pressing 0. And, and that's it. That's how we switch night service on and off with a value here. And this is by defining whether it was an internal call right at the beginning. So that was my first thought on getting this and that's it really very simple uh, the next one we will look at tidying up a little bit give you some more options of switching night service on and off um, if you saw right at the very beginning we had a button to switch night service on and off so I'll show you how we're going to do that and if you want to have a guess uh, till now we were using post dial digits so that's something to look at in the next one, along with some error checking and some tracing. Uh, we're getting there. See you next time.